Growing up in Kansas, I was accustomed to a lot of folks who put up exterior Christmas lights once Thanksgiving was over. And then after January 1, these lights and displays uh, would traditionally be taken down and put away until the next year. These days, the displays of lights have most certainly become more inventive and expanded, to say the least. And I was reading an article this past week that indicates that there is a major shift this year as to putting up these outdoor decorations much earlier and turning them on weeks before Thanksgiving. Sociologists believe this behavior helps to counteract the sadness and despair that is brought on not only by the darkening of winter days, but also as a reaction towards the COVID-19 pandemic. These lights give us a sense of joy as they brighten up our hearts. Uh, just last week, I found myself intentionally walking through the Christmas lighting department at Walmart as a way of, uh, ther as a, par a therapeutic way to help cheer myself up. I brought home three new solar path lights that are in the shape of Christmas angels. And these angels, they rotate different uh, colors uh, as they are shining. They go from white to green to red to blue and then to white again. This is one way in which I am bringing in the joy of light into uh, my own house. It's all about the light. How we view the difference between light and darkness uh, is commonly expressed in spiritual metaphor throughout our holy writings. For instance, Psalms 119 says, Your word is a lamp unto my feet, a light on my path. And in the Gospel of John, right at the very beginning in his first chapter, we read, in him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. This light, which comes from God, is expressed in this morning's Psalm uh, 85, in this way, righteousness and peace kiss each other. The poet speaks of a love relationship between righteousness and peace. There is a continual theme throughout the Hebrew and the Christian scriptures of righteousness. Righteousness is mirrored between God and humanity. And this righteousness comes out of the light of God. And the product of this righteousness is peace. A lesson that humanity has yet to learn is how much righteousness or right actions play in creating peace. If we spent more time working on establishing righteousness between one another, we would find more peace in the world. The action of righteousness is looking after and being concerned about others, those people that we know and those that we do not know. Righteousness is putting every person's needs at the same value that you place on your own needs. The psalmist ends his writing by saying, Righteousness goes before him and prepares the way for his steps. Righteousness 
is the light along our path. It is through our righteous acts, through righteousness that brings the presence of God's kingdom into the lives of all peoples. There are people who do not believe that peace universal is possible. And there were people who argued with Jesus on this truth. And to prove their point, they murdered him on a cross. When we say that peace is not possible, we are saying to God, we are the ones who know better, not you, God. <coughs> In doing this, we are acting as darkness. In the Gospel of John, it says, And the light shines in darkness, and the darkness cre uh, comprehended it not. So I would like to wrap this morning's reflection up by sharing one more song with you, which was written by Ray McGinnis, poet and author of Writing the Sacred. And this psalm is titled, An Advent Psalm. Blessed is the God of heaven and earth who gives us the bread of hope when we are in despair. For too long we have been lulled to sleep over, seen, uh, over senses numbed from fears of war terrorism, pestilence, scarcity, global warming, dar uh, danger lurking everywhere, on every newscast, on every TV show, and radio call-in show. Sleepers, awake! Look around and see. God is doing a new thing like a spider's web woven in the dark, coaxing out the best in us, calling forth people in our midst to manifest the courage to lead, being the change we seek, showing us through small victory after small victory the wisdom of compassion, the strength of listening, the joy of practicing respect, the valiance of peace, the blessing of mercy. The day is coming as a child being born in Bethlehem, bringing to birth a new era, a new dawn. All you who walk in the land have faith and live in hope. Oh, taste and see that our God is good. Give thanks and praise to God who leads us on with stars and angels and choir songs. O oh, blessed is the God of heaven and earth. <clears throat> During this Advent season, let us think upon how the dark of God is peace. Let us break uh, <clears throat> I want to wrap this morning's reflection up by uh, sharing one more psalm, which is written by Ray McGinnis poet and author of Writing the Sacred, and its title, An Advent Hymn. Blessed is the God of heaven and earth who gives us the bread of hope when we are in despair. For long ago we have been... <clears throat> I want to wrap this morning's reflection up 
by sharing one more psalm, which is written by Ray McGinnis, poet and author of Writing the Sacred. It is titled, An Advent Psalm. Blessed is the God of heaven and earth, who gives us the bread of hope when we are in despair. For too long we have been lulled to sleep over senses numb from fears of war, terrorism, pestilence, scarcity, global warming, danger lurking everywhere on every newscast, on every TV screen and radio call-in show. Sleepers, awake! Look around and see. God is doing a new thing, like a spider's web woven in the dark, coaxing out the best in us, <clears throat> calling forth people in our midst to manifest the courage to lead, being the change we seek, showing us through small victory after small victory the wisdom of compassion, the strength of listening, and the joy of practicing respect, the valiance of peace, the blessing of mercy. The day is coming as a child being born in Bethlehem, bringing to birth a new era, a new dawn. All you who walk in the land have faith and live in hope. Oh, taste and see that our God is good. Give thanks and praise to God who leads us on with stars and angels and carol song. Oh, blessed is the God of heaven and earth. During this Advent season, let us think upon how the light of God is peace, and let us reckon within our heart love and faithfulness, so that righteousness and peace can kiss each other inside us, inside our community, inside of all humanity. Amen.